So I came out here yesterday, to get some more work done. I saw my HVAC guy had started and I knew he was going to, he had texted me. Uh, but I walked in and what I saw was that he cut one of the roof trusses. Let me show you. This is what I saw on the ground, the placement that we discussed and ductwork going down through the floor. We also discussed that some ductwork will have to go up through the ceiling. So the first thing I see is that this roof truss here, and he just cut it. You can barely see it, but there's also this two by four there. That's structural bracing. That's engineered structural bracing. And he's cut this also. So I called him right away and said, hold on. Why did we cut this? And uh, I just asked him to stop. I need to talk to the engineers. So I will talk to the engineers on Monday. In the meantime, in the meantime, I have not told Mary. <laughs> She had ankle surgery and hasn't been out here for a few weeks. She's on her way. We're going to see how long it takes her to notice and how she reacts to that. So we got what I think of as the pressure lines, the supply lines for heat in front of the windows here on either side of the patio doors at the back, smaller of the supply. And so one supply in the guest bedroom there, one in the walk-in closet. There will be one in the bathroom. Can I mount this to the scooter? Like scooter cam. Woo. No. <laughs> he asked if we want this one in the bathroom right by the tub. I think it's probably the best place for it. Otherwise, we'd just be up in like the middle of the floor somewhere. So I think I'll tell him yes on this. Uh, so that will work. He and I are trying to work around each other underneath because he has ductwork going through. I have plumbing going through. Is that ductwork? It's not the metal kind? It's just, is it gonna be the metal? Um, that I believe is just the cold air return and then it's just flexible. We'll see it in the laundry room here in a moment. It's uh, an insulated box. Uh, I think that's tin on the inside. But, but is it all the ductwork tin anyways? Like, or is it gonna be that flexible stuff? Both. We're going in the laundry room, see how it's gonna set up. Wait a second, what is, what is that? I believe that's a cold air return for the main hall. Yeah, I don't like that. Okay. Um, you don't like the centered in the big portion there or? It looks off, it looks off. Okay. Would it be better if it were in this section? We can move it back and center it here. It needs to be centered in a space. It just looks off right there. Well, because you're in a smaller space, that's a bigger space. So it's centered for the bigger. But of course, it can't be here because we're gonna have a light right here. But I don't want a light immediately next to a big ugly vent. So I can move this here. Move it back and center it. Center it there. I'll send him a message Wait a second. if that's okay. Well, it's not gonna be centered. It needs to be like right here. Okay. I think it needs to be there. Cause this is a corner. Right. And if it's in this spot right there behind it, it's still not really centered in a space. Right. So if it's, yeah, let, let me, I'll get with him to see if it's okay. But then maybe we have light in that, the second space from the wall. Right. And then we have the vent. Right. We could do another light, an empty space, and a light. So we have three small lights through the hallway. No. No? We got there. Big light. Big light. Not a nipple light, but a... No. Like a decorative bigger light, I think. Got gotcha, you, <laughs> Chris. Because we're in a construction zone. <sighs> Safety first. That's what I almost never say. There you go. It works out. <laughs> <laughs> Did 
the base for the, the furnace. I'm not sure what all you call it. You know, there's the furnace and, and air exchanger. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> I was like, what are you doing? Uh, so yeah, that's... The furnace sits here, and I think this is actually our supply lines. So is there a hole in the ground there? Yes. Yep. Because uh. that would go down and out. This is what I was talking about as far as supply goes. I don't think they do the tin so much anymore. It's all, it's like insulation wrapped in more insulation. Oh, okay. And so... I think that'd be more efficient. You'd lose less heat because more cold air. And then that pumps down and over to the other side. And then um, we'll have some down and over that way. And then I think we go up also. And then it goes up through the ceiling there. Yeah. And what's this pipe right here? Is that a vent? Vent, yep. And then the vent goes across there. That just connects up and for it goes... bathtub. I did... Wait a second. Toilet and sink. And what is what is that in the corner? Uh, a header box that he built for the vent stack. So, Isn't so. Wait a second. That's the truss, right? Yep. Did. Wait a second. So the top piece. Did he cut? Well, we got the repair plan from the engineer for our truss. And so I'm in process of. Dismantling that header, uh, the HVAC guy put in, and building the or building back the truss, repairing it, reinforcing. Um, I'm gonna turn the camera around and show you what I'm doing. So here we have our truss that was cut. Now, luckily, it was just one, and my framer uh, came out and looked and said, you know, the good news here is we're attached firmly to the wall right here to the top of that, which is also attached all the way across those trusses, all the way across these trusses. That is holding everything in right now. Now, over time, probably wouldn't trust that to, to forever hold. We may start bulging outwards that way at some point. Um, but then, and I turn around, and I've got the same thing happening back over there. Everything is tied in and tied together. So on short term, the chances of damage are minimal uh, for spread out. I measured between that fish plate and the one behind me and on that truss also, and they're the exact same. So it has not spread yet. So now the repair plan is a two by six going from that junction and fish plate all the way across back behind me to this junction and fish plate. That's gonna tie as these are exerting pressure downwards at an angle going towards the back of the house and on this one at an angle going you know towards the front of the house over time that could spread this 13 and a quarter inch gap so we're laminating this two by six across those joins and so now it's not able to exert pressure apart from each other um, with any success you know it, it's going to do what it's supposed to do which is hold the roof up it's not going to spread the bottom out um, I also could add um, some half inch OSB on each of those joins across there. Um, and I may, I, I may do that just, uh, it would probably be overkill really, but this is my house. <laughs> I don't want, uh, I don't want to think like, oh gosh, is that spreading apart and come like crawl, crawl up in the attic once a year to measure and oh, now I'm at 13 and three eighths. It's spreading. Oh gosh. I don't want to, I don't even want to think about that. So I think I'm going to overbuild the heck out of it right now and be done with it. Never have to worry about it again.